grade 12 mathematics unit first functions and limits your best quote that reflects your approach it's one small step for man one giant leap for mankind armstrong Okay, dear, come to our topic, which is the domain and range of a relation. First, let us define what is domain and range of a relation. Domain of a relation. The domain of a relation R from a set of A to a set B is a set of all those values of the set A which are related to the set B. Domain of a relation is generally denoted by dom of R. Mathematically, it is defined as dom of R is a set which contains the element of a set A such that for each x belonging to set A there exists y belonging to set B such that the order pairs x, y belonging to the relation. Similar is, is the definition of a range, range of a relation. The range of a binary relation R from a set A to a set B is the set of all those values of a set B which are related to the elements of a set A, denoted by range of R and mathematically defined as range of R is equal to a set containing elements of B such that for those there will exist elements of set A Let us work. such that this, the order pairs of those elements must contain in the relation. In a binary relation, not every element in the two sets which are related may be involved in the relation. In our example, Tarzan, boy, oranges, apples, and bananas are part of relation L, while Jane, pears, and cherries are not. The set of all elements of A which are L related to elements of B is called the domain of L. Likewise, the set of all elements of B to which the elements of A are related is called the range of L. So in a binary relation from A to B, all the elements of A which are related form the domain and all the elements of B which are related form the range. The domain and range are subsets of A and B. The domain and the range can include every element of A and B, or could include just a single element. Present a binary relation on R are pairs of real numbers. This set of ordered pairs is sometimes referred to as the graph of the relation. And since Cartesian coordinates can be used to visually represent ordered pairs of real numbers, this is a way to visually represent the graph of a relation on R. Creating this visual representation of a relation is called graphing the relation and is one of the most powerful methods for understanding mathematical relations. Let us consider some example so that perhaps a clear idea of domain and range of a relation. Consider this example that y is equal to g of x is equal to x is a given relation. Clearly y is related to x. Here x is related to y that is in this case x is the subject of the domain that is here x is made as the subject of the domain that is x is independent and y depends upon x so from this relation it is quite clear that we can assign any value to x from the set of real numbers thus we conclude that the 
domain of this relation is equal to what the set of real number now if we write x is equal to y here we see that y is made as the subject of the domain that is y is now independent and x depends upon y and this is the same relation as the above one but now y is the independent variable that is y can get any value from the set of real number the, therefore range of this relation that y is equal to x is equal to what the set of real number as well now to draw the graph of a given relation first we draw the input output table for the given relation so here is the graph of y is equal to x as from the table it is clear that if x is equal to 0 then y is equal to 0 if x is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 if x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 and so on so we have a straight line here we have a straight line of the relation y is equal to x from here we see that as x goes toward the positive x axis as well as toward the negative x axis we get a number line so the domain opposite of a real number represented by what by a number line that is a number line always represent the set of real numbers similarly is the case of y axis the y axis also represent what the number line so in this case the domain and range are both equal to the set of real numbers let us consider this second example y is equal to h of x is equal to plus minus under root x this is another relation here y is related to under root x plus plus minus sign here we see that x is the subject of the domain which cannot be negative so x must be greater or equal to 0 that is x must belong to 0 up to infinity that is the set of non negative real number thus we conclude that the domain of the relation is the set of non negative real number that is 0 to infinity now if we solve y is equal to plus minus under root x for x that is squaring both sides we get x is equal to y square now here y is made as the subject of the domain so we can assign any value to y from the set of real number that is 0 plus minus 1 plus minus uh, 2 plus minus 3 etc so we conclude that that the y belongs to the set of real number that is minus infinity to infinity Thus, the range of the relation h is equal to the set of real numbers, that is minus infinity to infinity. Let us draw its graph. This is the input output table for y is equal to plus minus under root x. So let us draw the graph of y is equal to plus minus under root x. This is the graph of y is equal to plus minus under root x. Now if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. Here we see no values of the graph to the left of the origin on x negative x axis. So if x is equal to 0, y is equal to 0. If x is equal to 1, y is equal to plus 1 or minus 1 as clear from the table. If x was 2, it was 1.4 or 
minus 1.4. If it is 3, then it will have 1.3 or minus 1.73 uh, or 1.73. If it, uh, x was 4, the values of uh, y was were 2 or minus 2 and so on. So plotting these values, we will get a graph like this. So this is what another uh, graph of a relation. From this we see that the domain is 0 or positive values along x-axis, positive x-axis. And the values of y are positive, 0 and negative, which shows that the domain is the set of non-negative real numbers while the range is the set of all real numbers. Hope you have the idea. So see you. Do subscribe to the channel. Like it and if you have any problem please mention me in the